The Enhanced Entity Relationship Type, or EER model, is an extension of the ER model. It includes all the modeling concepts of the ER model. In addition, it incorporates three new additional semantic data modeling concepts, specialization or generalization, categorization, and aggregation. Let's get into some more detail. The concept of specialization refers to the process of defining a set of subclasses of an entity type. The set of subclasses that form a specialization is defined on the basis of some distinguishing characteristic of the entities in the superclass. As an example, consider a person superclass with subclasses student and professor. The specialization process defines a set of subclasses of an entity type representing an is-a relationship. In other words, a student is a person. Also a professor is a person. Vice versa does not apply. A person is not necessarily a student. Likewise, a person is not necessarily a professor. The specialization can then establish additional specific attribute types for each subclass. A student can have a master thesis attribute type. A professor can have an academic degree attribute type. During the specialization, it is also possible to establish additional specific relationship types between each subclass and other entity types. A student can register for courses. A professor can teach courses. Generalization, also called abstraction, is the reverse process of specialization. Specialization corresponds to a top-down process of conceptual refinement. As an example, the person entity type can be specialized or refined in the subclasses student and professor. Vice versa, generalization corresponds to a bottom-up process of conceptual synthesis. As an example, the student and professor subclasses can be generalized in the person superclass. Here you can see an example of a specialization. The artist superclass is specialized in the subclasses singer and actor. Remember, an actor is an artist. Similarly, a singer is an artist. An artist has a unique artist number and an artist name. A singer has a music style. An actor can act in zero to n movies. Vice versa, in a movie, one to n actors can act. A movie has a unique movie number and a movie title. A specialization can be further qualified in terms of its disjointness and completeness constraints. The disjointness constraint can be set to either disjoint or overlap. A disjoint specialization is a specialization whereby an entity can be a member of at most one of the subclasses. An overlap specialization is a specialization whereby the same entity may be a member of more than one subclass. The completeness constraint can be set to either total or partial. A total specialization is a specialization whereby every entity in the superclass must be a member of some subclass. A partial specialization allows an entity to only belong to the superclass and to none of the subclasses. The disjointness and completeness constraints can be set independently, which gives four possible combinations, disjoint and total, disjoint and partial, overlapping and total, and overlapping and partial. 
Here you can see an example of a partial specialization with overlap. The specialization is partial since not all singer the specialization is partial since not all artists are singers or actors. Think about painters for example. The specialization is overlap since some singers can also be actors. Here you can see an example of a total disjoint specialization. The specialization is total since according to our model, our people are either students or professors. The specialization is disjoint since a student cannot be a professor at the same time. A specialization can be several levels deep. In other words, a subclass can again be a superclass of another specialization. In a specialization hierarchy, every subclass can only have a single superclass. In a specialization lattice, a subclass can have multiple superclasses. In both cases, a subclass inherits the attribute types and relationship types of all its predecessor superclasses all the way up to the root of the hierarchy or lattice. The concept where a shared subclass or a subclass with multiple parents inherits from all of its parents is called multiple inheritance. This can occur in a specialization lattice. Here you can see an example of a specialization lattice. The vehicle superclass is specialized into motorcycle, car, and boat. The specialization is partial and with overlap. Trike is a shared subclass of motorcycle and car and inherits the attribute types and relationship types from both. Likewise, amphibian is a shared subclass of car and boat and inherits the attribute types and relationship types from both. Categorization is the second important modeling extension of the EER model. A category is a subclass that has several possible superclasses. Each superclass represents a different entity type. The category then represents a collection of entities that is a subset of the union of the superclasses. Inheritance, in the case of categorization, corresponds to an entity inheriting only the attributes and relationships of that superclass it is a member of. This is also referred to as selective inheritance. Similar to a specialization, a categorization can be total or partial. In a total categorization, all entities of the superclasses belong to the subclass. In a partial categorization, not all entities of the superclasses belong to the subclass. Note that a total categorization can also be represented as a specialization generalization. Let's illustrate this with an example. Here you can see the superclasses person and company which have been categorized into an account holder subclass. In other words, the account holder the account holder entities are a subset of the union of the person and company entities. If the categorization would be total, then this implies that all person and company entities are also account holders. In this case, we can also model this using a specialization with account holder as the superclass and person and company as the subclasses. In case the categorization would be partial, then this cannot be modeled as a specialization. Selective inheritance, in our example, implies that some account holders inherit their attribute types and relationship types from person, whereas others will inherit this from company. Aggregation is a third modeling extension provided by the EER model. The idea here is that entity types that are related by a particular relationship type 
can be combined or aggregated into a higher level aggregate entity type. This can be especially useful when the aggregate entity type this can be especially useful when the aggregate entity type has its own attribute types and or relationship types. Here you can see an example of aggregation. A consultant works on 0 to n projects. A project is being worked upon by 1 to m consultants. Both entity types and the corresponding relationship type can now be aggregated into the aggregate concept participation. This aggregate has its own attribute type date, which represents the date at which a consultant started working on a project. The aggregate also participates in a relationship type with contract. A participation should lead to minimum one, maximum one contract. Vice versa, a contract can be based upon one to M participations of consultants in projects. Here you can see our earlier HR administration example, but now enriched with some EER modeling concepts. More specifically, we partially specialized employee into manager. The relationship type managers then connects the manager subclass to the department entity type. Department and project have been aggregated into allocation. This aggregate then participates in the relationship type works on with employee. An ER model can be designed according to the following steps. Identify the entity types. Identify the relationship types and assert their degree. Assert the cardinality ratios and participation constraints. Identify the attribute types and assert whether they are, symbol or, whether they are simple or composite, single or multiple valued. Link each attribute type with an entity type or relationship type. Denote the key attribute types of each entity type. Identify the weak entity types and their partial keys. Apply abstractions such as generalization, specialization, categorization, and aggregation. And assert the characteristics of each abstraction, such as disjoint or overlapping, total or partial. Any semantics that cannot be represented in the ER scheme must be documented as separate business rules and followed up using application code. Although the EER model offers some new interesting modeling concepts such as specialization, generalization, categorization and aggregation, the limitations of the ER model unfortunately still apply. Hence, temporal aspects can still not be modeled. Consistency among multiple relationship types cannot be enforced, and integrity rules or behavior cannot be specified. 